All right, so I got a few things to paint today. Um, I was gonna paint the whole bumper, but I'm gonna do something different. I think it's gonna be a little more rugged. I like being able to tell my cars apart. So this is my wife's car right here. And when she's driving down the road and stuff, or if I see her, I wanna know that it's her. And there's like hundreds of Honda Pilots in our city. So I'm gonna do something different with this one that I think is gonna be cool. If it's not, I'll just fix it. But I think it's gonna be cool. I'll talk about that in a second. I'm also going to paint these. These are the wheels I've been working on. I may post the video of them before I post the video of the pilot, I don't know, so you may have already seen these finished, but I'm going to be painting those as well today. With the pilot, so originally I was just going to paint it back stock, redo this in black, and obviously the black part silver, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave the black kind of black as an accent color, and then paint this right here silver, and then come around the side with the black down here across the bottom, and then paint the back bumper black as well, and then paint this black piece here silver to match the front i think it'd be really cool so i think i'm gonna try it it'll look a little more off-roady maybe hopefully i gotta get new tires for this thing soon and they'll be bigger so i think it'll go with that but that's what i'm gonna do should be interesting should be fun and these are getting painted the same color so that's why i'm doing it at the same time it's a little rainy out today uh which is bad for humidity but i live in alabama so humidity is bad all the time but it's good for dust, so I shouldn't get a lot of dust in the paint. Uh, yes, I am just going to paint them outside. So, let's get to work. So I'm just going to use some 500 grit wet sandpaper to scuff this area that I want to paint. Make sure that the paint holds on and doesn't peel off later on. I know what you're thinking, why not just take this piece off? I could, um, but I'm going to have to pull the whole bumper off to do that, and I don't think I want to pull the whole bumper off. I may change my mind by the end of this thing, but we'll see. So we're ready to paint. I'm actually really excited about this because I haven't painted in like years. So uh, I've got it all taped up. I got the wheels taped up. I was going to tape up the tires too, but then I decided I just didn't care. And um, I'm going to paint it without taping them up, just using the white note cards. So I've got to mix the paint. I think I'm going to use that air conditioning unit as my mixing table. And uh, then we get to spray. So this is the first gun that I ever bought, I think. Judging by the color, there's some overspray on it that's red, which means I use this to paint an E46 or E36 uh, 3 Series about 10 years ago. So it's old, I think I'm gonna use it, I'm pretty sure it's clogged. So this one is a cobalt gun that I bought at Lowe's. Um, I also got the inline filter and the regulator there. This is just going to help me make sure that I'm spraying the right uh, amount of air. Um, I've used it once. It went all right. I'll let you know how it goes this time. I'm not a big painter, so like, I don't know. My review might not be great, but you know, I'll, I'll do what I can and hopefully give you guys some good information. But uh, the last time I sprayed with it, I really liked it. It came out great. So we're going to try it again. Get the paint. Air filters from my mask. Got some mixing cups. These are great. Most paint shops will actually just give you these when you buy uh, some paint from them. Some strainers, inline filters. Let's see. Some tools. More inline filters. Got my clear coat. This is my color. And reducer right here. All right. Let's get to work. All right, so I just went and read the data sheets for this shop line paint that I got. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And I think I'm pretty much gonna mix the whole gun. You just mix up to a certain number and then double that number. So this thing holds 500 milliliters. So 500 millimeters, milliliters of paint. So we'll go to 250, which is right there, and then 
to 500. This is the compressor I'm using. It's an eight gallon compressor, which is really small for painting. Uh, the only other one I've used for painting is that blue one right there. It's totally shot, but it's a 15 gallon. I've painted entire cars with that one. It just takes patience. Um, so this basically, I'm just gonna make sure the, the PSI at my gun stays consistent and it shouldn't be an issue. I'm painting pretty small stuff. Um, so that stuff's self-explanatory on the car. The wheels, I'm gonna do the the difficult edges first, so the things that aren't just spray down on. Um, so that's inside those little spokes and then inside the rim right there a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna do the broad stuff. So my hope is that as I do the difficult stuff, the broad stuff will get some, some cover as well. So try to get that all silver. Uh, but this first coat's just a mist coat. Um, so I'm gonna pour my paint, test it over there, and then start painting. All right, I had to run in and change shirts because I literally sweated through the last one. And it started raining again, so I let the rain die down. I'm gonna dry off all the parts, kill all the ants, and start spraying some clear. All right, so the clear is a little different than the color. You have your clear coat and your activator, and it's a four to one mixture. So four, four parts clear coat, for every one part activator. That's where these things come in handy because it has like a, where we got a four to one uh, mixing ratio thing. So. so you'll put in up to the four and then, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then you'll go up to the next four and that'll be a four, four parts, one, and then one part. Cool, let's do it. Hot life is one to three hours, so I'm going to go ahead and get a move on. I'm not really sure how far this will go, but I can always mix more. The way it was described to me, first time I ever painted, was you want the first coat to be kind of a mist coat so that the next two or three coats have something to stick to.
really happy. <laughs> Tired. But uh, really happy with the results. I think it looks really cool. This is going to be part one. I'm going to break this into two parts. I don't have enough time to do the black today. But basically, straighten you guys out. Basically, uh, I'm going to carry the black from the bumper down the side of the car, and then the back bumper will be black too. I think it's going to look really rugged. Uh, pretty cool. But that's it for today. I'm going to go like bathe. <laughs> so sweaty. See ya.